Hello, I'm Amy Strandland, and this is the Hawthorne Video Active Report. Want to get your 15 seconds of fame? Now you can with the new website 15SOF.com. To get an idea of how it works, picture the hit show American Idol. Now, picture it on a social media site with user-generated video. That's what you get with 15 seconds of fame. The site invites contestants to submit their videos to a variety of contests for just $1 each. Then, fans can vote on their favorite video. Categories include dancing, kid vids, pets, and more. With prizes ranging from only $25 to $100, this isn't a get-rich-quick solution. But for those seeking 15 seconds of fame, it might just be their big break. To try to get your 15 seconds of fame, check out Top Screen 2. Jill Peterson and Kevin Hines got their 15 seconds of fame by uploading a video of their unusual dance at their wedding. The video was a viral hit, generating 12 million views in only 12 days. There was just one problem. Jill, Kevin, and their wedding party danced up to the altar to the tune of Chris Brown's hit, Forever. The rights to the song are owned by Sony, and usually unlicensed content is removed immediately from YouTube. However, Sony decided to harness the video's success. By using YouTube's features, the company added a pop-up overlay to the video, directing users to iTunes to buy the song. As a result, Forever is now number four on the iTunes charts. This is an interesting change to the usual copyright battles about YouTube content, one you might see more of in the future. We are not alone. Alternate universes exist all over the internet in virtual worlds. But a new report by Forrester reveals that most businesses are still living in the real world. The study found that only 11% of enterprises use virtual worlds in their workplaces. This may come as a surprise to some, since virtual worlds have been around since 1995. Don't know how to harness virtual worlds in your business? Well, you're in luck. Forrester found that the best uses of virtual worlds in business are social networking, real-time collaboration, and interactive training. What makes you happy? That's what Harvard psychology doctoral candidate Matt Killingsworth wants to find out. To do so, he isn't using the normal labs and test tubes. He's using an iPhone. That's right, in the new study, participants use an application called Track Your Happiness to help researchers understand human happiness. Users are asked at random times during the day on their mobile devices what they are doing and how happy they are. Using the iPhone to conduct this research is beneficial because it is inexpensive, catches participants in action during their everyday lives, and is just as easy to survey 1,000 participants as 10,000. In addition to shedding more light on what makes people happy, this study may have found a whole new way to conduct research. For Hawthorne Direct, I'm Amy Strandland.